What's up guys? It is great to be back here on YouTube. I know I've been missing out with you guys. I know I've missed out the past couple weeks on uploading videos. I apologize. I've been super busy and a couple of videos I had recorded kind of fell to the wayside because the audio just kind of fell apart on me. So I'm getting this video together though with the, with the new camera once again. I know I will not have any audio issues with this thing. Uh, but once again, just great to be back. Great to be back making some content for you guys. Back when I was building my 1,000 horsepower 2002 Camaro, my dad also had a 2000 Trans Am WS6, which was nasty. And I ended up selling my car to a family friend pretty much in Tampa, which is about two hours north of where I am here in Florida. And then he ended up selling his Trans Am to the same guy. So the same guy has bought and sold back and forth with my dad on multiple cars, including his 93 Fox body that he has now. They've pretty much sold that thing back and forth to each other a couple times already. And uh, I mean, my dad's completely changed it since this got back in his hands now. But with the Trans Am, he finally bought that thing back as well. It's a nasty 454 LSX swapped Trans Am, full suspension, a level 10 um, RPM 4L60 Trans, um, has some crazy, I think like, I can't remember what, what rear end is in it, but basically it's like a nine inch, but it's like a little better than a nine inch, but it's a, uh, it's a crazy, crazy, super clean car, low miles, it's mint. And as you guys can see right behind me here, flip this around, you got all the wheels sitting here, there's my forces, there's my dad's sodas, they used to be on my truck. And those are all sitting there still because we're waiting to get our trucks back. They're still in North Carolina. I uh, cannot wait until we get them back. I should have them back here in about two weeks, uh, hopefully right before Daytona. And uh, I cannot express how happy I am to show you guys um, the final product and how they're gonna look and um, how they're gonna run, how they're gonna sound, everything like that. I won't give away too much right now, but it's, they're both gonna be awesome and badass. So um, of course I'll have another video on going to pick those up because we're pretty much gonna drive up to North Carolina to pick them up. And I do wanna touch on one thing real quick. We did pass the 1,000 subscriber mark. Thank you guys so much. That's a huge accomplishment to me. I had that goal and it seems like it's been, you know, the, the channel's steadily growing and I'm happy with that. You know, I'm not expecting to pick up thousands overnight in every video I upload. So, you know, any progress is good to me. Um, I'm glad you guys are enjoying the content I'm producing and I, continue, and I do have huge plans to continue doing badass stuff. Um, especially when I get the Duramaxes actually back. So I don't want to make a bunch of boring videos. I mean, let me guys, let, let me know if you guys like seeing these cool, crazy, you know, cars like the Trans Am, my dad's Cobra that makes 1,400 horsepower, things like that, and I'll make more videos on it. Um, I just don't want to have a, you know, Duramax channel that I'm uploading car stuff on and you guys don't like seeing it. But I mean, I'll pretty much do it anyways, just to throw it in here and there. But um, just let me guys know what you want to see. My house is a lot further along. I did have a lot of content on that as well, but it was corrupt as far as the audio goes. So I wasn't able to get a lot of good um, quality videos showing where that's at. So I do plan on going back out here this weekend. I'm gonna bring this camera along with me because when I was out there last time, I forgot it and used my phone. So I do plan on bringing this with me this time and you guys are gonna see how much further along the house is. Give you guys a quick little update on that. You can see where it's at and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy that as well.
So as you guys can see here, we got the car rolled off the trailer with the handy dandy winch here. Helps so much when you don't have room to get the doors open, you know, inside these enclosed trailers. So this setup right here makes it super nice to roll the car right out. And as you guys saw, there's a 454 LSX in this thing. We're gonna get started here in just, just a second here for you. Just so you guys know as well, this is the actual car that I had on one of my other channels from a while ago. And I didn't continue to use that channel because it had a goofy name for when I was a little kid. But if you look up, I think if you type in on, on YouTube, like 4, 454 LSX swapped Trans Am Murica Burnout, uh, you'll come across a video that has 180,000 views or something like that. I posted like four years ago after my dad built this car originally. and. I really wish I would have started making crazy videos back then because the other videos I put up on my Camaro on that same channel running in the quarter mile before I actually had it complete, um, kind of in the beginning stages of when I was building it, is displayed on that channel there and you guys can find that. So like I said, he sold this car to a family friend and I think he's only put like 100 miles on it in a couple years. So the car is finally back home. I can't wait to make some sick content with this thing for you guys, you know, just aside from all the uh, truck stuff I have out there. and. Uh, you know, this thing sounds nasty. Uh, you know, I, I sold my car probably three years ago, roughly, and just seeing another F body makes me miss mine so much more. So um, I'm gonna get back over here, help my dad get get it in the shop, and uh, just wanted to make that note so you guys can look at that other video I made, so you guys can see that this car actually was around, you know, years ago. So she's finally back home. Definitely gonna make him do some do another Merca burnout part two. So that'll be coming shortly. Um, Stay tuned, guys. Mr. Brady Peterson here. What Hello. Do you think about the new Trans Am. It's the old Trans Am. We got it back where it should be, and got it's it back awesome. Some more America burnouts. So happy that it's back. And uh, your truck will be here on the channel very shortly. Yep. After I buy a new motor. <laughs> um, you want to give a little sneak preview to what you're doing? Yeah, I'll give a little sneak preview. Sneak, a little sneaky sneak. A little sneaky sneak. Um, just got some parts back from powder. You know. Um, what do you have first of all? Well, first of all, I have a 2005 GMC. It's a full size 2500, but it is a gasser. I know it's a gasser, but I'm gonna boost it. So we're boosting it. Just got some parts back from powder. Um, all I'm waiting on is the cold side, and everything else is here ready to go. Maybe need a new motor. We'll see, and we'll go from there. So yeah, guys. So um, he did get some parts back from powder, like he said, and it's a super sick color. That's gonna, ooh, that's too zoomed in here. Let me zoom out a little bit. Um, and uh, I really want to show you guys what that looks like. Uh, we are kind of being delayed a little bit with getting this all together because it is a, you know, trying to do it right the first time and not just throw it together and, you know, hodgepodge it. So um, I really do want to show you guys the color though. So I don't know when I'll do that yet, but um, you guys definitely don't want to miss what he's doing to this truck. It's going to be a little bit different than all the other three quarter ton diesels you see out there. So it's a three quarter ton, but it's going to be a boosted 6.0.
All right, guys, so I'm back outside here, and as you guys can see, you got the Trans Am in the shop now, and of course, had to get that inside, and the trailer moved around so we could get the boat back over here. He also picked that up today. And I do have more content to come with that red Trans Am. Um, like I said, go on YouTube, look up the old video that I referenced to earlier, and you'll see the, uh, the crazy burnout he did in it, you know, years ago. Um, and as you did see, I also talked to Brady, uh, which he's a member of our team here at Custom Pools, and, uh, and he has big plans for his 2500 um, 05 GMC, and then, like I said, it is a gasser, um, but there is a lot to come for that, and that's pretty much going to turn to the project truck on this channel, uh, since I have multiple projects of my, of my own going on, but I want to bring good content to you guys, um, I was able to talk him into boosting his truck, so... He's already getting, he already has half the parts here, some, some pieces that are powder coated that look sick, and I'll be showing you guys that soon, but he's just trying to figure out exactly how far he wants to go with this build to make it reliable and make sure it doesn't blow up two days in. So I do have one of my buddies, Trey, that just rolled up here. I'm gonna show you his truck now. About two months ago, um, he picked up a Slate Blue Cat Eye 1500 Crew Cab Short Bed that he actually um, had a bunch of plans for right when he bought it, and he bought some wheels pretty quick. I ceramic coated them for him, which they were hostels, 22 by 12s, which you guys could see in one of my other videos. I started a video actually ceramic coating them and showing the process of doing that. And he has already got rid of those wheels, got some new wheels. I told him he had to get over here because this thing looks crazy sick and you guys will see why. It's my taste exactly right up my alley as well. So um, I do have him here. So I'm gonna turn you guys around so you can see his truck and just give you guys an overview. All right guys, so as you can see, this is, this is his 06 1500 Cat Eye Crew Cab four wheel drive on 22 by 14 American Forces with the AKAs and they're on 355 Nittos which is a 33 inch tire but I'm telling you it looks like a 35 inch tire in person they are as fat as a wheel is wide and man I mean I mean I have 22 by 14s on my truck so obviously this is right at my alley as well and this thing is sick I mean it's all paint matched there's no the moldings were taken off the uh, or the, the fender flares were taken off the side of the bed and the front fender as well into the tail lights. I'll let Trey here kind of give you guys a, a little run around of what he did to it. Hey, yeah, so what's going on, guys? Um, so pretty much when I, when I got this truck, I had a bunch of plans to, you know, get, get done with it before, you know, uh, truck beach or whatever. And so pretty much what I wanted to get done is get the bumpers color matched, the mirrors color matched to the truck. Um, uh, it, had, it had fender flares on it, so obviously, you know, those had to come right off. Um, and so I got... You know, the bumpers color matched. I did uh, the tail lights, headlights. We got the newer style of mirrors on there color matched. And so I kept the stock grill um, just in case because I didn't know if I was going polished wheels or staying black. So I pretty much have, had a mix of both uh, tastes, you know. And so I just got the, uh, the bow tie color matched um, and got the clear, the clear headlights with the, with the, uh, the black trim around it um you know so makes it for a nice clean touch so so far you've done some paint matching new headlights wheels and tires did the mirrors retinted it did the windshield which is 35 percent which looks sick i plan on changing mine to 30 percent so it'll look just like that one i plan on doing five on the sides as well which you guys can see is very dark you can't see in i mean pretty much just an overall clean truck i mean to be honest um i'm a huge fan of the cat eye duramaxes so and especially this color as well because it's pretty rare and i pretty much told him if he if he rolled up here today and this was a duramax probably wouldn't let him leave the parking lot i would throw some money at him because i mean this thing is stupid stupid clean stupid sick i mean if, if this was my truck i don't know i honestly don't know what i would change on it and just to go over what the actual lift is on this this is a six inch lift and um so it's a six inch lift with torsion bars and it's on a 33 inch tire. As you guys can see, if you guys copy this on your truck, all he did was trim the lower valence here a little bit. And he does rub the cab, of course. I mean, you're going to with that with a super wide tire like that. And you know, if, if he's not skating on top of them. So um, he does get pretty good turning radius, of course, to drive around normally as he needs to. So you guys can definitely copy this if you wanted to as well. Boy is Benny. 
Alright guys, so, so as you can see, this is Trey, his super sick 06 Cat Eye 1500 on 22 by 14s I'm gonna let him just give you a uh, give you a quick idea of what the future may hold. Not that there's much else to do to the outside of it, but he does have some other plans for it uh, that possibly involve being able to turn those tires over in the back a little easier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so um, pretty much the reason why I bought this truck is for to tow my drift car to the track. So you know, if I'm gonna keep these big tires on them, you're uh, you're gonna want a little more power to the rear. So you know, um, in the near future, I'll probably put a uh, a cam in it and hopefully get a pro charger on there but for now it'll stay nice and quiet yeah. and it is stock gears in the back right do you know yeah yeah does she turn does she drive pretty easy i mean yeah not not like sluggish or anything yeah uh. maybe a little bit kind of sluggish <laughs> a little bit now that i got the 14 you wide expect that with these yeah fat tires on there all right guys there you go that ends today's video um once again Sorry I haven't had a video out in a couple weeks. Um, I did have some other clips, like I said, that were, uh, the, all, all the audio was actually compromised on it. So it just, it was a nightmare trying to fix it. And of course my, my truck is gone, so I didn't have a lot of easy content to make and I didn't know if I should bore you guys with polishing more wheels. Like that video didn't get too much love, but um, every one of you guys that watched it, appreciate you. I do have updates on my house, which I do plan on recording tomorrow, because I will be out there working in the morning. Uh, and I'll get you guys some updates on that and show you where it's at because we have come a long way since I've had it in the video last. But of course, I don't want to bore you guys with too much of that stuff as well because I know you guys are here to see a lot of truck stuff. So hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Thank you once again for passing 1,000 subscribers. Couldn't do it without you guys. Promise you guys I'll see you in the next upload. Take it easy, guys. Peace! <laughs>